We did the birdhouse quilt for my dad, Erwin Nagel. He loved to build birdhouses, but we did ours with strip log cabin and flying geese roofs. And we did some trees out of geese and some stars. Beautiful. It's a great way of practicing your techniques on our new ruler called Calling All Geese. It has all sizes of geese rulers on one piece of plastic. It is amazing. So you take your largest square and your smaller square. These sizes are all written in the pattern. Put them right sides together, draw a diagonal line down through the middle, and sew a quarter of an inch on both sides and line up your ruler and cut and you have two. Okay, turn them over so that the large triangle is on the top. Open and press into the large triangle and then take those and put them back right sides together but don't try to match that seam. Look for the goose tails. Draw another diagonal line right down through and I like to place it so I don't bite that seam and once again take your sewing machine put your quarter inch line so a quarter of an inch away from the line on both sides of the geese just turn it around and it's really helpful if you use your stiletto so that those seams don't flip there's nothing worse than flipped out seams go ahead cut it in half again and you go, oh my gosh, I goofed, but you're perfect. Take your scissors, fold it in half, and just, tr just do a little clip up to the stitches. Do the second one, a little clip to the stitches. This is so that when you press into one geese, turn it around to the second geese, flip it over on the back side, press it, and you can see how the whole back lays flat. So now comes the all geese ruler. There are three parts that I like to think of just to keep me going straight. The first part, you take the triangle printed on the ruler and place it on top of the seams. There is a line to cut in. You just cut those in half. There's a slot, you cut it. Then you slide up to the second triangle and you find out what size you are making. This one's a two by four and you can see you're gonna have nice crisp points. So cut one two by four, go over to the other two by four, cut off those sides. There's only the bottom part left to trim up. So just slide up your ruler, the third side, and just sliver trim that little bit hanging out on the bottom. Just put that ruler against those points and now you've got it perfect. You've got your quarter inch, you got your points, and it's the perfect size.